God's beauty is all around us. And my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello, and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch, and I'd like to welcome you to the final episode of Painting Journeys. Um, it's been a long journey. We've traveled many, many places together, and if you're if you are one of my faithful followers that I hear from almost on a weekly basis, um, just, you know, hang in there and keep on painting or keep on watching art. The world of art is a beautiful place to live. But I must step back now. I won't be taking any more journeys. And so it's time for the show to end. But this is our last, our very last show. And so I thought in honor of that, I should show you the first show, the first, from the first taping of Painting Journeys. This is the painting that I painted. It, the name of it is Tongas Narrows, and we were in Ketchikan, Alaska. I'm sure you must remember that. It was uh, my first Painting Journeys show, and I don't know, we've come a long way, we've traveled far, we've been everywhere, we've been to Alaska, we've been to Ireland, we've been to Italy, we've been all over the United States, and now it's time for me to bring you to where I live, coming home, Sheboygan County, Wisconsin, and one of the, my favorite things about Sheboygan County is that we have the shoreline of Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is so beautiful. It's just, it's just unbelievably beautiful, especially in the evening when the sun is setting. And um, of course, as we're looking out at the lake, we're looking toward the east, but there's something that happens when the sun sets in the west that catches the, the light and the clouds, and um, there's just like a golden orange-ish aura over the whole thing that is so beautiful. Right now, this we're at North Point. Now, North Point in Sheboygan along the riverside is the most southern part of uh, the town of Sheboygan that you can view the lake from um, and be right on the lakefront, you know. And so I decided that this is what I was going to paint for our last show so that you could see what it's like for me when I come home, okay? So stay tuned. We're going to get started right now. I took the liberty of starting this painting this morning, and I wanted to get that gold sky in there. I wanted to get the buildings, and I can even name those buildings, but I won't, I won't bore you to death with that. But the smokestacks, and um, at one time, big ships, used to bring freight and things into the port of Sheboygan. Uh, they would come up from Chicago and, and everything. So it was a very active city uh, as far as um, you know, the water was concerned and the imports and things. But then that all kind of evened out and it, the city became more of a manufacturing center. And we've had some uh, really great businesses there, you know. So. Anyway, um, here we go. Now we have lots of lots of beautiful places where you live right on the right on the shoreline there, and uh, it's it's really neat. And this this little red lighthouse over here, oh, there's a long walk that goes out there, and it's just so exciting to be there with those big giant waves are coming over and you have to be careful because people have actually been washed off that walk that goes out to that lighthouse so it's kind of it can be kind of a dangerous place but anyway um i think i really what i really want to tackle first is this big beautiful cloud 
up here. It is so lovely with the pinks and the violets and the blues in it. So I think that's the first place I'm going to go. So without further ado, we're going to get busy. All righty here. And my paint is all mixed up. I'm using a, I'm using a very, um, I would say, uh, a, a smaller palette than usual. I usually have more colors than that, but on my palette. But I decided to go with with a smaller color range and mix a lot because really and truly, I wanted to kind of test myself. You know. I want to go out with a flourish, of course. So um, I'm going to try these little guys right up here. And we, we have to remember that there's light shining through. So we have to keep the, the cloud nice and, nice and um, kind of translucent, especially these little guys up here. So I'm going to wipe my brush and dip it in a little tiny bit of oil to make it the paint a little bit thinner. And I'm gonna come up here and let me see, that's right over that white building right there. And it's right about in here. And then it comes up in here and like that. And we're just gonna soften that in. There we go. There. Maybe we'll put a little pink around them. Pinkish orange. Whoops, a little too much. This is very juicy because I'm using this medium today and I don't usually use a medium because I, I don't want my, my paint to be so juicy, but today I do, today I do. And then, yeah, there we go, that does it. I'm happy. Okay, now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna try to come in there again with a little bit of the oil. This oil is an extender and it really, um, and I, I'm not going to tell you the brand, but I am going to tell you what kind of, of oil it is. It's walnut oil and it's absolutely fantastic for uh, making the paint flow and putting on thin applications so that you can see that they look more translucent. Um, very, uh, that's, that's a, it's a very good oil for that type of, of uh, painting. Now we want that to be a little bit darker right in there. And I don't want to get caught up in anything that is going to be too distracting with all these little tiny bits of clouds that are going across. Because my big dramatic cloud, that's the one I wanna go to town on. That's the one that's important. And he's coming right about in here. There's a big dark spot right in there. Nice and nice blue, I've got blue, violet, and a little bit of, of green, sap green in there. And I'm going to put this on kind of rough and then I'm gonna come back over it and soften it in. You know how I love a soft look in my paintings. I really do, yeah. Okay, now up here on the bare canvas, it's going to go on a little nicer because it's not sitting on top of what I've already painted. Um, so that's gonna work a little better here for me. And I'm gonna make this kind of dark here because, because I want to, that's why. Yeah, because I want to, nothing wrong with that. Alrighty, now we'll take another brush. Let's get a bigger brush. Yeah, I think on my last painting for you, I should use a bigger brush just to show you that I know how to use a bigger brush. Okay, right up in here, we're gonna have some gold. It's gonna be kind of bright. Right there. Mm, it looks a little 
redder, doesn't it? We have to make it a little redder right in here. There we go. That's what I wanted. And there's a little touch right in there too. Okay, and a little bit over in here. A little bit down in here. All righty. And remember how I told you many, many times, it's, we're not trying to copy the photograph. We're trying to create. And so it's very, very important that you keep that in mind. If your painting does not look exactly like the photograph, then good for you, because that means that you have created and not copied. Always remember that. Create, don't copy. Now, this is, I'm, this is okay. I'm, a, I'm gonna be putting some blue in it, but I wanna get that nice and clean in there so that I know that it's gonna stand out really good uh, right in, in the area where I see that. Okay, and as I soften it, and then I'll come down into the blue again. A little bit of light in there. And wipe the brush, and here we go with Little, a little lighter violet, a very sweet, gentle violet coming right down here. And I'm making this cloud a little bit bigger because to tell you the truth, to me, this cloud is one of the most important things on the, on the painting. So I'm making them a little bit bigger. And there again, it's my painting. I get to do what I want to do. And that's what's the fun, the fun part about being the one with the brush in your hand. Okay, that's not too bad. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to try to soften this. just a little tiny bit of oil, my walnut oil, and I'm going to try to soften this and make it all come like a cloud. There, there, now you see what's happening? We need a little dark on top here. We're getting a little too light up in that area. Just a little darker, just so we remember that there are those um, darker parts of the cloud that the sun set is not hitting uh, as much. It's kind of sad for me to be ending this series, my former series. Gallery Works, I know a lot of you watched that show for years. Probably some of you are still seeing it in rerun. And now you'll be able to see this in rerun. So it's not like it's going to be off the air. You'll still be able to see it. And if you should ever decide that you'd like to have your own personal autographed copy of the painting, of a painting or of a show, you just email me. Look for the information at the end of the taping. Email me and I will, and just put TV show on it, and I will make sure that you are sent your own copy that will be autographed of the of the show whatever show you like okay now that looks like it needs just a little more yellow orange right up in here because I'm seeing a little bit too much of this violet and I don't like that there we go now I think that looks pretty good 
uh, have a little bit too much coming down. So I'm going to go back into my sky and I'm just gonna clean this area up a little bit. Okay, and that's how you do it. Just clean that up a little bit and There we go. There we go. That looks okay. Maybe we need just a little bit of blue, a nice light greenish blue coming in from the sky color. Um, yeah, it's lighter and it's really, really, a, it's such a soft color. Um, all the colors of the sky are so soft and I want to just put that in there to kind of like show you what that sky is like right in there. There we go. There. Yep. And maybe just a little touch right here so that we feel like there. Now that, that um, cloud is gorgeous, I think. And I'm gonna start on the water, just like that. Let me see, I see blue and green. Um, I see lots of blue and green in that water. It's really a gorgeous turquoise color and then down here if you see you can see the the reflections in the water of the purple and the blue in the sky beautiful 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 sky i don't like this over here i'm going to go back in there taking a second look at it and i've decided nope it's not going to work for me so because it's my painting and i can do it I'm just going to go back in here and clean this up a little bit. There. Does that look better? Of course. See? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You know, attack that painting. <laughs> attack it with gusto. Paint it like you love it. Mean it. Make your strokes count. All righty, let's see here. We're going to get some blue-green together. I'm just mixing a nice, a nice mixture of sap green and uh, French ultramarine blue. And let me put that up here. Am I close? Pretty close. Yeah, I am. Pretty close. Maybe a little bluer. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white. And I've got some of that violet in there, too. So... Um, <clears throat> that's going to give it a little, oh, just a little hint of a, of a nice soft color. All right. Now, we already have our violet going across to show distance. I have the lighthouse quite bright, and I'm going to leave it that way. And I'll tell you why, because um, that bright, that lighthouse, when the light hits it at a certain time of the day, it... It just looks like it's on fire. I'm going to leave it there. And I know you don't see a lighthouse here in the picture, in this photograph of North Point. But trust me, there is right about over here <laughs> on the edge, there is a lighthouse. So I took the prerogative of moving it in because I want you to know what it looks like. So there we go. All right, now here... We go. All right. Okay, now we don't see any waves. And I'm going to have to come back over that and hit it with some dark paint because that's a cement wall right there and I just obliterated it with my big brush 
So I'm going to come back in and try to get that back in there because I, that that's important. There we go. Okay. The um, director of my show, um, Painting Journeys, um, is also an artist, a very well-known watercolor artist. And his motto that he learned from his instructor was to keep it simple. And so I thought in honor of my director for my last show, I would try to follow his advice and keep it simple. Now, darn it, went back over it again. Well, you know what happens then? We're not afraid of it. We just fix it. All right. And there we go. Okay. All right. Now, as we're getting a little closer, we're going to want that um, water to be just a little darker. And I'm going to start coming down with my, with my brush strokes. I've got my back laid in where we don't see any, any waves or anything like that. Um, but now I'm going to start coming in with lights and darks and um, Okay. Hmm. All right, now I just noticed something else. See this dark line right up here? Right there? I, I have to go back and I have to take care of that. I want that in there. That's important. You know, that's what happens. You step back away from your painting and you see stuff that you've either painted over or you've missed. So it's always really good to step back and then take a look at it and then go back and attack. <laughs> if you, well, maybe attack is kind of a strong word, but all righty, let's see here. I want this right in here, this little, this little bit of dark right in here that I'm seeing. And I want this to be darker up here, too. I think I lost some of that when I um, um, was kind of softening. So now we'll take that. Where is that clean brush at? Oh, dear. Hmm. What happened to the clean brush? I don't think we have it anymore. We'll try this one and see how it works just to soften that in a little bit. There we go, I, there we go. Yep, I like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more violet right in here, coming through here. That was lost. And then, of course, and I want to tell you because somebody emailed me um, a week or two ago, and they were asking about this tool. This is a wipeout tool, all right? As you can see, it is pointed on one end. It's rubber. The center part that you hold is wood, and the other end is kind of chiseled, okay? Okay. And it makes the absolute best tool, because it's rubber, for wiping out when you want to remove paint. So I'm going to show you and demo this, okay? 
here you go. Right here, see this beautiful light kind of area right in there? I'm going to remove the paint so that I can make that area a little lighter with the violet. And now I'm going to take some little bit of a lighter violet and I'm going to put in there. Okay, and you have to be careful not to daub too terribly much. I see a tiny little bit of orange in here also. Tiny little bit right in there. Just a little, you know, the colors of nature are so difficult to capture on your canvas because it's God's creation and us mere mortals, we struggle. There we go. Now, does that look a little better? I think it does. I think it does. Yeah. All righty. I have to be careful because I'll get in that trap where I'll want to make it look like a, a photograph, and I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. I want this to be my um, rendition or my... Um, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but anyway, I want it to be how I feel about la the, the lake. I want it to be my interpretation. That's it, interpretation. That was the word I was looking for. Thank you, whoever said that. Okay. I think we need to get a little bit more blue in here. I think I have a little bit of too much green, so I'm going to put more blue in. All righty. And I know that looks funny, but you just wait and see what's going to happen. Yep, because we're going to be doing some pretty good stuff here pretty soon. And all this dark down here is going to have, we're going to put the highlights on it and everything. Okay. All right. Now, I just got the word that the show is half over. I'm sorry, kids. We're halfway there. Inga. But that's okay. That's okay, because we're doing good stuff. Good stuff for you. I'm really glad that you are with me today. I'm glad that you're watching the show. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you've enjoyed all of the shows that I've done on painting journeys, taking those trips with, to, with me to the different destinations that we've gone to. Gosh, we've gone to Germany. We've gone, oh, so many places, local, in the state, in the United States, in Washington State, remember the beautiful Pacific Ocean paintings uh, that we did? I mean, we have just, we have journeyed so long together now. It's been, I think it's been a little over three years and almost 40 different shows. And it's just, yeah, it's just really, really been a wonderful, wonderful experience to share my journeys with you, and I'm so glad that you tune in. All right, now, let's see here. Now I'm gonna take the wipeout tool. Well, not quite yet. I'm gonna take this, a smaller brush, and I'm gonna go for some waves back in here, just a little Now, by making the brush strokes go down, then when I come back over them, it'll look like this is deep water, 
but it has a surface on it. That's the sole purpose of making those strokes, strokes go down and then coming back with the little tiny brush strokes to uh, create a wave look and a surface on the water. We do have lots of, lots of, uh, of waves coming in, so this is probably going to be kind of tedious for you to watch. I'm working with my microscopic brush again. <laughs> I don't know, kids. I just can't seem to get away from that microscopic brush. But then these are little tiny waves because they're way in the back, all right? So we don't want those to be too big. We want them to look smaller. And I think back there, um, there's usually a lot of wave action right around the uh, pier that goes out to the, um, the lighthouse. So I think back here, I'm just going to put just a little bit of white so that we can kind of get that feeling that there's waves uh, coming up on that pier. Now, now I'm making stuff up, okay? But that's my prerogative because I, I know that they're there, so I'm going to put them there. All righty, and then more, more little waves. Okay. We want the water to look very, very uh, choppy. That's one thing about Lake Michigan. When I first moved here, I was so sad to leave California and, and, and leave the Pacific Ocean. I mean, that's where I had grown up and I had loved it so much out there. And, you know, I, the first time I saw Lake Michigan, I thought, oh my gosh, it's so big and beautiful. It's just like, and with the beaches, clean, cl beautiful beaches, and, and so, so beautiful that I thought, my gosh, the only difference is, is that the waves keep coming in. They don't go back out. They just keep coming in, coming forward, you know? And that's the only difference. It was just as beautiful to me as the ocean was. And I was really surprised and happy at that because I'm really a water person. I love the water. I love it a lot. Okay. And now you, you see that surface that we're getting now? Uh, it really looks like the water has a surface on it. And that's by making those strokes go down. Remember that. Put your strokes going, when you're doing water, put your strokes going downward first, then come across the top with another brush with paint and you can make your waves or your or even a dry brush. You could even dry brush this and, and have the effect of, of, um, of um, the water. Okay. Okay, here. A little more turquoisey color back in here. And it got a little, a little light on me. Mm-hmm. Okay. All righty. Let's see now. I think... Well, now we have to start making some dark waves. As they're coming closer. All 
All right. I'm sorry I'm not talking. I'm just kind of, this is, this is a, I'm getting to the, down to the nitty gritty here and I want to, I want to um, be sure and make this water look like I want it to look. And I'm going to just come across here with some uh, little areas of light so that I can make those little um, areas of, of um, the reflection of the sky onto the water. Need a different brush. And now let's see here. Perhaps, do we have a bigger brush? Yes, this looks like a good one. Mm-hmm. There we go. Nice light over here. I think we need some of that orange too in here. Nice light in here. A little violet. All right, now let's see here. All right, now we'll come back and we'll, oh, we'll keep that brush and we'll start making these waves a little bit bigger. and darker. Alrighty. And right in here. Okay. And I think, I don't see any foam, but I really like waves to have a little foam on the top. So I'm gonna put a little, a little foam on mine. Water's getting pretty choppy up there, just like I wanted. It's just the way it looks. And we'll put some little flat little reflections in it from the cloud. Okay, and then we're going to take some white and make just a little bit of a white cap. Okay. Oh, I didn't bring enough brushes today, did I? Well, you know what? Just have to work with what you got. Don't complain. Just make do. All right, will this guy work? Let's see. I'm thinking about just a little tiny bit of a white cap on this guy. Okay. 
and maybe a little bit on this guy here and he's coming down too. Maybe we'll just have some little white uh, dots back there in the water to just kind of show the little white caps. Maybe we need to go back even further. I think I see I want them even further back. I saw a painting one time where someone had painted on glass I'd never seen anything like that before in my life, and they had painted the ocean on glass, and they took on the back of a piece of glass, okay, and they took a pin, and they poked holes in the paint of their, um, in the water of the paint, and so the, the light coming through looked like those little sparkly things on the, on the ocean that you see when you're looking out there. It was, it was really amazing and, and quite a technique. I've never had the nerve to try that, but I, I never have forgotten that either. Okay, let's see here. Okay, maybe we could have a little more of a, right there. Mm-hmm, oh, yeah, that looks like it's coming in. Pretty good. And then we could have a little more here. Okay, looks pretty choppy. Don't want to try to do too much. I don't want to mess it up. I, I want to get some of that, let's see here, it's kind of a, it's peachy, but it's yellow, and it's got all these cool colors in it. And I, I think probably my director, he's probably looking at me now, and he's saying, Kitty, you're not doing it. You're getting too fussy. Keep it simple. Okay, I will, I promise. Maybe, maybe not. There we go, mumbling to myself. All right, now, right down here, we have some beach. And we have, um, there we go, nice little light color of beach. Okay, and then it's coming right along in here. And that needs to be lightened up. Okay, there we go. All righty, here we go. And that comes down there. And now if I were to, if this was a class, I would tell you that this is my discord, this color down here. That would kind of be my discord. And there are some little birds there and I have to kind of soften um, along in here a little bit and make this a little bit bigger right there because it's coming into the beach. It's coming into the water there. Okay, so we're gonna soften that a little bit. There we go. And right here, we're going to have a lovely, nice little uh, whitish, um, white kind of a foamy uh, type thing that comes up 
onto the water right here. There we go. And then that's gonna be pulling back like so. And now we need some of the strokes of the violet to be coming across here because that's where our, our biggest amount of reflection is. All right. And I have to, um, before I forget, I have to thank my favorite cameraman, Richard, who's been with me all these years, been faithful in doing the shows and putting up with my, with my wishes and making it the best he possibly can. I have to really give him a big thank you because he has been a jewel. And I have to thank Sarah, who's my camera lady, and for all that she's put into making this show what it is. All right. You know, it's just, I don't think this is working for me. Come on, kitty. Shh. Get it in gear here. Okay. There. Well, I don't know if that looks like water or not. What do you think? Huh? No, don't answer that. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. The fun we have. Huh? There. Now it looks like water. And then down in here, I think what I did is I did too much of this business up here. I'm going to soften some of that. Yeah. That tiny brush business. Oh boy, and this guy here, he could really use a, a little more water coming down like he's really coming in there. And he could be a little flatter. There we go. There we go. Yep, hey, that looks not too bad. All right, um, let me see here. Where do we go next? What do we do? Well, I think I'm going to go back up into um, here, and I want to make this cloud show up just a little bit more so that you can see this low-hanging cloud right in there a little bit better. Okay, and typically when we're down there, uh, when I'm down there at North Point, there's a little bit of smoke coming out of these chimneys, okay? So I'm going to just put that little bit of smoke there. Can you see that? There we go. And now let me see, what else do I want to put in here? Okay, I think uh, the back side of my cloud needs to be a little bit darker over here. There he is. And I think I'm going to put just a, you know what I'm doing right now, kids? I am killing time because I thought I would be so smart and get some of this done, because I wanted to have this painting done for you by the end of this show. And sometimes you outsmart yourself. OK, so I'm killing time, but that's OK, because I'm making my painting better. I'm going to put just a little bit of bright red on the roof. There we go. That shows up a little better. And coming down here. There we go, that shows up nice. All righty, and oh, let's see here. I see, I see some ducks down here. I think maybe I will make a duck. Yes, I'm gonna make a duck. 
They're always down there. They're always begging for food. They chase after you. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. You know, you throw that food, and they all just come running like little crazy people. It's crazy. I love them. So I'm going to put one in my, in my final painting here just for you. And here he's going to be. And we need to put, he needs to be darker. He's not showing up. So we're going to make him just a little bit darker. And we're going to give him a friend. And maybe one floating out here. OK. Now we'll put some highlights on them. I think I need some highlights on their heads so they show up just a little better. Okay, and this one's in the water, so. Oh well, I don't know if we needed that or not. I, now, now that I look at the painting, I'm thinking to myself, that uh, lighthouse is too dark. Uh, I mean, too bright, too bright. It's far away and I've made it too bright. So sometimes you have to trust your eyes and not your mind. Your mind will tell you one thing, and if you look real hard, your eyes will tell you another. So somehow or another, I have to balance my hand and get in here and darken the back side of the lighthouse. All right, much better, much better. OK, let's see. Um, maybe if I put, I know those birds are dark, but I don't even see them. I know what I'll do. I'll lighten the area that is around them, because it's dark against light and light against dark. So if the birds are too uh, not showing up, it's because the, they're too dark. It's because the area that is around them is not light enough. So I'm going to just put this in here like that. And then that'll just show a little beach. And here we go. I don't know. I probably should just take these guys out. They look kind of goofy, huh? Oh, well, I don't care. Maybe I'll put some red in here. Red is good. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a little green over it. And then I'm going to make some more waves. We're coming down to the wire, and I want to sign it for you. I'm going to make some more waves here. Have those ducks more out in the water. OK, you know what? I'm going to call it done. Um, and this bothers me. I keep saying that, don't I? I'm going to call it done, and then I say, this bothers me. But this needs to come out like that. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to sign it. And where's my signing brush? Let me see here. I'm sure I brought it, and I'm sure I put it out. 
It's a tiny little guy right here. Okay, now where to sign it? Where would be the best place to sign it? I don't want to sign it over here, I don't think, because my ducks are there. But if I sign it here with all of this, that's going to make it too heavy. So I think what I'm going to do is I will sign it over here with the ducks. And that may hopefully will distract the eye from those ugly ducklings. <laughs> all righty, here we go. Taking some of my brilliant alizarin crimson, my most very, very favorite color in the whole wide world, and I'm going to sign this for you. Now, when I sign it, kids, that means I can't touch it anymore. It's a done deal now. Okay. I really want to thank you. This has been a marvelous, marvelous run. I thank you so much for joining me. Um, as I said uh, earlier, if you ever want to have a copy of a show, just email me and uh, put TV show on it, and I'll make sure you get an autographed copy of the show. Um, I want to thank the staff and uh, here at WSCS Television for hosting my program all these years. And I, most of all, I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in and watching me. It's with sadness that I leave. Um, but it's bye-bye for now. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.